In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Optinly. Optinly is a conversion tool that helps you convert visitors into subscribers or customers. I'm going to be showing you how to set this all up and I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the way. Now, before we get started, if you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a few hours and I'll leave a special link which will take you to the best place to purchase Optinly. I'll go ahead and keep that link updated for you so you always get your money's worth. Let's head over to my screen so I can show you about Optinly. Here we are in the dashboard of Optinly. The first thing that you're going to want to do is start a new campaign. So go ahead and click the add new campaign. It's going to have these pre-built templates for you. Let's go ahead and choose coupon and we'll set a title. You can categorize all of these templates by using the navigation here or here and just scroll through to try and find a template. We're going to go ahead and use this one. This is where you have your basic settings. So we're going to leave it as show on page, but you can also have it to appear when people show exit intent or if you want to trigger this when someone clicks a button. I want this to show after three seconds when someone visits the page and I'll just keep on showing this offer. But if it's a repeat visitor, you want to go ahead and change this to X amount of days. If you have your own mail servers or CRM softwares, you can actually integrate tags and set up your own tagging system. And then you've got the conditional logic where you can say what you want it to do. So for example, if someone's already got a cookie in their browser, you can show specific things in according with that. You can set up multiple options. You can also make it responsive and, and make it show on specific devices. And you can even add in a recapture form with Google. To customize the form, go into customize. And on the right, you have your, your main area where you can change the text, descriptions, and even customize the form and the button. If you want to redirect someone to a thank you page, you can select the redirect after subscribe and add in a custom URL. And you can even have it to open up in a new tab. If you don't want to redirect anyone, it does have a thank you pop up. And again, you can customize everything there. You can also see how it looks like on mobile and tablets. And when you're done, press save template. If you're happy with all your amendments, go ahead and click save and set live. And now you see that template is set in your campaigns area. So now if we head over to a website and I'm going to go ahead and press refresh, it also holds all the emails that are submitted. So we're just going to do hello at gg.com and do download ebook. And now if we go back to the Optinly dashboard, refresh the page, go into subscribers, and you can see the email is in here. Now within the campaign area, you can duplicate the campaign or create split testing functionality just by clicking the button, titling it, it's okay. And then you can customize the B option, press save, and now it will start split testing for you and it will record the results. Inside the integration tab, here's a list of all the connections you can do, but ultimately it connects with Zapier. So you can connect with almost anything Zapier connects with, which is basically everything. The site zone is where all of the sites that's connected to Optinly is. And for installation, you can either copy and paste the JavaScript code into your header footer areas, or you can even download the WordPress plugin and then copy your app ID. If you ever need to contact them, they have a support page where you can send them an email through the live chat. And they also have a knowledge base which lists every single thing you can do and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Overall, Optinly is a great little tool. It does what it says on the tin, which is makes life easy to help convert your visitors. It would be nice to see more free templates, but after all, they are business, so they do need to turn a profit. The integration is really simple. Depending on the way you want to install Optinly, it doesn't really matter. You can either copy and paste the JavaScript or you can install the WordPress plugin and copy your ID. They have a nice range of templates, which I can't really fault. And the overall setup, you can be up and running within minutes. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.